Everyone has been talking about how bad the sun is for you. It causes things like sunburn, skin cancers, skin aging, like wrinkles and hyperpigmentation, which is something a lot of us don't want to have. We've been taught to wear sunscreens at all times. But is sunlight truly that bad for you? Well, to be honest, in my opinion, sunlight isn't something we should avoid entirely. There are actually quite a few key benefits with the sun. Number one, the sun is actually the main source for vitamin D, which is essential for bone growth and bone health. Deficiency of vitamin D can cause a nasty condition called rickets. Studies have shown that people who live in higher altitudes with less sunlight are associated with a higher risk for developing internal cancers, high blood pressure, type 1 diabetes, and other conditions such as multiple sclerosis. And so this begs the question, how much sunlight should we have? According to this study, brief exposures to sunlight during the summertime in the UK is sufficient to produce enough vitamin D to last you for a whole year in lighter skin types. But this isn't true in darker skin types like myself because we produce more pigment, also known as melanin. In darker skin types, you will need extra time in the sun to produce the same amount of vitamin D in the UK. So the moral of the story is, instead of avoiding sunlight like it's a plague, we should perhaps rethink our approach with the sun. For lighter skin types, having short exposures to sunlight a few minutes a few times a week should be sufficient in generating enough vitamin D. But if you're actively avoiding the sun, or if it's during winter season, or if you're a darker skin type, you might want to consider taking vitamin D supplements.